In Calculus 1, we learned how to find present and future values for a single payment. The functions we used would allow us to find discrete values that occur at specific moments in time. We use the equation future value equals present value e to the rt, and we use the second equation present value equals future value e to the negative rt. We now want to take this concept a step further by discovering what will happen if we make a series of continuous payments. So maybe once a year, we'll be depositing a certain amount of money, so it's a stream, or what we call an income stream, that we are investing. Assuming a continuous interest rate, our new equation becomes that present value will be the integral from 0 to m, where m is the number of years in the future that we are investing our money for, s of t, the rate at which payments are made in dollars per year, e to the negative rt, where r is our interest rate and t is time. Our future value can be found by doing present value times e to the rm, where again r is our interest rate and m is the number of years we're going to be investing for. Let's look at some examples. Suppose you want to deposit $1,000 per year into an account which pays an interest rate of 5% compounded continuously for a period of 15 years. Find your present and future values. Remember, present value is the integral from 0 to m, s of t, e to the negative rt dt. Here, my m is 15 years. That's how long I'll invest my money for. S of t is my income stream per year. Here it's $1,000 per year, so S of t is 1,000. My rate is 5%, or as a decimal, 0 0.05. And t is time. t is our variable here, so we don't plug anything in for it. By plugging all these numbers into our integral, we have the integral from 0 to 15, 1,000 e to the negative 0 0.05 t dt. When we put this all into our calculator, we get that our present value is $10,552.67. Now, we'd like to find the future value. So remembering our present value, our rate, and the number of years we're going to invest, our future value is present value times e to the rm. Our present value was $10,552.67 times e to the our rate is 5%, and the number of years we're going to invest is 15. Multiplying these all together, we get a future value of $22,340. Notice that the total amount of money we deposit into the account is $1,000 per year for 15 years, or $15,000. But the future value is $22,340. So the difference is $7,340. That's the money we get off of interest. Let's look at another example. At what constant continuous rate must money be deposited into an account if the account is to contain $25,000 in five years? The account earns 6% interest compounded continuously. So what we're trying to solve for is S of t, our income stream. What we have given in the problem is we're given future value, time, and interest rate. Remember, future value equals present value e to the rm. Plugging in what we have, which is m, which is 5, r, which is 0 0.06, and a future value of $25,000, our equation becomes 25,000 equals present value e to the 0 0.06 times 5. So to solve for our present value, we simply must divide both sides by the e term. So present value, when we plug this into our calculator, is $18,520.46. Now we take that present value, and we use the present value that we've calculated in order to solve for our money stream, s of t. Remember, present value is $18,520.46, m is 5, our rate is 6%. So plugging all of these numbers into the present value formula, we get something that looks like this. Notice that we have something plugged in for everything except for S of t. 
Since our income stream is a constant number, we invest the same amount every year, we can pull that number out front just like any other constant. That's really convenient because now we can divide both sides by the value of our integral. So our income stream can be calculated by dividing the present value of $18,520.46 by the number we get by calculating our integral in our calculator. When you plug that integral in, you should get 4.32. By dividing, we get our final income stream of $4,287.14. That's how much we have to invest every month to get what we wanted in the original problem.